Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. And today we're going to talk about why sudo echo doesn't work the way you expect it to work. All right. We've all been there before. We've all had a file that maybe we need root access to uh, modify and we try to write to it and it fails. And then we're like, oh, we should just do sudo. And then we sudo it and it fails again, right? Here, I'll show you a very concrete example of this. Let's say we want to look at our host name on a machine. So we cat Etsy host name and uh oh, that file doesn't exist. Uh oh, something's wrong with this machine. What are we going to do? Well, we can write to that file. So how do we do it? Well, let's say my host name and we could write that into Etsy host name. What's going to happen if I run this? Well, it fails. We get permission denied. Why do we get permission denied? I don't have access to write to that. I'm not the root user. So how do you solve this? Well, because you're bad and you're cringe, what you think is the right thing to do is you put sudo in front of it. So we sudo it and we still get permission denied. That's so weird. We're root. Why are we being denied? Well, that's because echo ran with the escalated privileges. This redirect happened in our shell. Our shell was the one that tried to open up that file and our shell was the one that failed with permission denied e-access. So how do we fix this? Well, you might've seen something to fix this and they use the T command. So let's explain this. Echo my host name. Let's sudo T that into, was it SE host name? There we go. And we'll run this and what happens? Well, it asked for a password. Okay, cool, put one in. And there we go. So it printed my host name, but then it also wrote the file out. So there we go. That's awesome. So what happened? How did that work? Why did that work? Well, let's explain it. There's actually two commands running here. There's the echo and the sudo command. Echo runs as the Dave user, sudo runs as the Dave user, but sudo escalates the privileges. So now T runs as the root user. T is running with escalated privileges. And what T does is it writes whatever it gets on standard in to standard out plus any number of files you specify on the command line. So when I run this, you could have technically ran it like this. It won't print anything, but it will still write it out to that file. So for instance, if I were to like change this to like my host name two, and then we recat that file. There you go, we have my host name two. So it's important to think what is actually escalating privileges. The redirect is happening in the shell. So I would need to either escalate my shell. Maybe I could do something like sudo dash s and then I could run as root and there you go. Or I could just sudo t it and bam, there you go. So yeah, that's why sudo t works the way it does.